$600 to get some hair made. So my mood, that whole motherfucker show was, girl, we gon' we gonna make this, we gon' we just gonna have to make it work. The lip sync, I think it all comes down to opinion too. Of course, I think I beat her. Um, of course, there's other people that think she, I mean, and then, you know, her outfit, if we're going, if we're looking strictly at who was put in the bottom two, if we're looking at strictly at who was put down in the bottom two, like, and trying to be fair, her look next to mine, she put a little bit, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say more work because I had made, she made one outfit. Um, let me see, do you do drag? You don't. As a matter of fact, you have on cheap sunglasses, a terrible haircut, and I can tell you're wearing a t-shirt. So you wouldn't know if money was an excuse or not. Move on. Um, like, I made five outfits. Geneva made that one. Hers was cute. In my opinion, hers was definitely cuter than me and better, and better constructed. Um, so I'm not mad at that. I'm not being delusional about what I did. <laughs> I know what I did. I just didn't think it was bad enough to be in the bottom too. How's life changed since the season air? I mean, I'm working more often. That's about it. As of now, it kind of just got started. I mean, well, it ended for me, but it kind of just got started. So, you know, check with me in a month. Hopefully I'm still working. What did Cornbread tell you when she got bought her off? How did she react? I mean, she knows how to show work, so she didn't really care. She told me, good job. <laughs> That's it. I don't know. I thought, I personally thought Morphine and Mirage were going to be in the bottom. I knew I was going to be close to the bottom. I didn't think I was like the winner, but I also thought when it came to the concept, it was the mother's ball, not the mother and avant-garde ball. So I was the only one that came out dressed like somebody's mama. Like I stayed in actual character. You didn't make the pants. They didn't say we had to make the pants. They said create a look. They didn't say they didn't say so look. They said create a look. Do you make pants? Do you sew girl? Or it's your favorite pastime just talking shit online. Is that the extent of your day? Create a look doesn't mean so with uncommitted. It, it, it didn't. That's not what the rule said. The rule said they even and even in between the challenge when they give us when they give us the challenge, they have somebody come in and also explain what the challenge entails. None of it said we had to sew the entire look. Now I'll level with y'all. <laughs> that wig could have went. <laughs> that wig could have went somewhere. I didn't need. I could have took that wig on somewhere. I wish I would have had bigger earrings, or at least I wish I should have pulled out my kitten wigs because I look the best in my kitten wigs to me. church lady then i mean what am i supposed to do to that song like what who, do i look like i perform to electric car, electric pop and the hairline was a little long girl it was <laughs> it was I was like, we're just going to block you now. Hate from the outside of the club, girl. Um, love self-aware. Yeah, so I think a lot of the girls that are coming for me are projecting their lack of um, awareness, talent, uniqueness, nerves, and creativity onto me. Um, because I came ready to compete. All the girls saying I gave up, I didn't give up. Uh, I came ready to compete, bitch.
Did you borrow anything from the workroom? Mm -mm. I didn't take anything. Most girls would have folded. What do you mean? I just think it's weird. Like, the one thing about Drag Race. What are the vibes in the workroom preparing to go on stage? We see a lot of playing games today. Um, I don't know if y'all are coming here because y'all want me to say something bad about that lady. I ain't got nothing bad to say about Plain Jane. Um, me and Plain Jane were cool. So, I mean, you're not going to... If you're coming here for me to say Plain Jane was such a bitch, this, 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 that, that's not going to come from me because I don't have issues with her. Plain Jane was nothing but nice to me. But you committed to a like pants change the vibes. It, I mean, I did. What am I gonna? Yeah, what am I gonna do? Go on the stage sad? No, I found them pants. I love the pants. I, 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 they went with the outfit, so I said, you know what? This is what we got. This is what we got. I'm. I mean, you know, I, I'm not shocked that I, I was. It's not like I was. I'm not gonna sit up here and like I was surprised. I was in the bottom. I'm definitely not doing that. It is what it is, and it was what it was. If you had a different pump, would you choose a different color? No. Um, it was giving springtime. It was giving color blocking. Um, plus, I didn't have any other shoes. <laughs> Listen, I sold that outfit. I don't care what y'all say. Hold on. Let me do this brow. Is Seattle excited to have me? I can't wait for y'all to see me. I think you made a huge pack in the time you were there. That makes me feel good. I'm glad y'all liked me enough. Uh, I would have killed the acting challenge. I would have killed any other other challenges. Yeah. Michelle critique about you not making the pants confuse me. Um, girl, well... Listen. When I make it do all stars, if y'all see another all stars question, just answer it for me. Here's the answer. If I would do all stars, not for another three or four years. is excited to see you when you got home no actually <laughs> their mood gave like the kids gave oh you was gone <laughs> we didn't notice I'm in Seattle. If you are in Seattle, if you're in Seattle, Seattle, oh damn. You can catch me in Seattle tonight, sorry, something wasted. Ugh. Seattle tonight. Um, I'm going to be a splash. The immunity port. But girl, they wasn't trying to get, they definitely wasn't going to give me that. Did you go home soon after you got eliminated? Did you have to wait until the entire show was filmed? No. Um, 
they did say that I could stay for a few more days if I wanted to like decompress before I left. I was like, no, pack all this shit up, girl. Get me about to here. Let me add. I was devastated. So I was like, no, give me, please get me out of here. Please get me out of here. Don't make, don't make me stay. <laughs> don't make me stay. A local girl isn't a bad thing, but it's not something that I want to be or stay. It definitely isn't a bad thing, but um, my dreams and aspirations go beyond being a local queen. Now, by no means that that means you shouldn't support every local girl in their bars. I'm always going to stand up for that because you don't know who's going to end up. Um, you don't know who's going to end up on that show. And a lot of you all um, as fans like to wait till girls end up on TV uh, before y'all want to throw y'all support at them. Um, so I will say it and shout it from the rooftops. Every club I go to, every performance I got uh, with the pl platform I am now, that don't wait till we get on TV to celebrate us. Don't wait till we get on that show to hype us up. We are right downtown or wherever your local gay scene is in the gay bar. We right there. Your what your packing looks were beautiful. I told y'all I came to compete while everybody was trying to drag my um everybody was trying to drag me. I came to compete. I pulled some shit together. I pulled it together. I, I did what it had I did what I needed to do. Do I do ballroom? I'm in Chicago in about two weeks. Um, do I do ballroom? The answer is no. Um I participated before. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I'm too old for it. What did I write in the mirror? Whiplash. Whiplash. Did they not show it? I didn't watch the episode. I'm not being, I don't want to be re-traumatized. He's so real. I love the way that he makes me feel. I... Am I going to release Whiplash? Probably not. If I could figure out a way to do it, it's supposed to be released by now. But now, like, um, everybody going to move past it by next week. So it's going to be no point. You have such charisma. No way to take. Thank you. Are my old videos still up? Yeah, they around. Where? I don't know. <laughs> they are they on that YouTube channel somewhere. Search. You can search for, uh, if you search Hershey, they'll probably come up. Or Tyrell Bryant, they'll probably come up. But not all of them. I had most of them, like, literally scrubbed from the internet. So, all of them um, are not going to be up. Especially if you followed me before and you seen some, not all of them are not. Not free whiplash. Proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Did I miss any questions? Ah, uh, do I want to go that dark? It's fine. Um... What do I identify as? An experience? I'm an experience. And what an experience it is, honey. Oh, what an experience. Come on, Facebook.
I want us all to win. I want us all to be amazing. I want us all to be booked out of our damn minds and I want us all to be paid and happy. No, I, I said experience. Um, do I come back? If I did, baby, why would I tell you? I'm under contract still. The contract got me locked down for quite a while. So no, you're not gonna be the one to get the tea. If I was. Stop trying to put makeup on in a masculine way. How the fuck do you put makeup on masculine? Y'all just be saying stuff. Four o'clock, I wanna be done by six. <laughs> Did you know any other girls when they were in the workroom? I just knew of um, Tsunami. Um, I, I, I watched her online perform a couple of times. I don't know her, but I, I didn't know. I know. I mean, obviously I know her now. I didn't know her, but like I knew of her. I always thought she was very pretty. In a back alley near you. Um, season eight is my favorite season. Season eight to me was the last season where like you could be a regular drag queen on the show. Um, I think that was the last season just regular drag was appreciated. Just the girls being drag queens in whatever shape, form, or fashion, like in whatever capacity they was. Um, nine, while it was an awesome season, it was a really great season, it introduced this this fashion element to it that drag race well, is not going to get away from, I don't think. Um, because now, to me, um, everything is about fashion, fashion, fashion. Um, if you're bad at fashion, you're assumed to be bad at drag. When there's a lot of girls who are great at fashion that are bad at performing. <laughs> whole bunch of great fashion queens that perform like bricks no i do not miss chasing um not even a little bit not even at all no especially at the experience i had on drag race no which um i would kill for a hershey cornbread you want a hershey cornbread cop podcast you're not gonna get it You're not gonna get it. I'm so sorry. I didn't like my drag. I loved my drag race experience. I said I wouldn't. There's another show that I was on, and that's what the question was. The other show that I was on, did I miss that show? And the answer is no. I don't. After after the experience I had with Drag Race, no, I absolutely do not miss being on that show. Um, definitely don't. The blending. Hi, Bernie. How did I miss you? Sneaking up in here. Whose talent show did I like the most? Um, I liked a little bit of everybody's. That V look was gorgeous. Thank you. I will miss your voice in the confessionals. You know what? Honestly, I'd miss it too. I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm very good at um, confessionals. I didn't know that before I got onto the show. But watching it back, like I was like, oh, like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of doing the damn thing a little bit. <laughs> I'm kind of doing the damn thing. 
Black Karen, where the hell you been, girl? I recognize that face. Where have you been? Uh, do they test the sound before playing the music? Yes, and that's very nerve-wracking because it's like your adrenaline is already pumping. And I mean pumping hard. So the fact that they play it and then turn it back off, bleh. All the queens have improved since Drag Race. Uh, I mean, you're always supposed to be improving. Um, you're always supposed to be growing. But let me offer you this. Um, we are in a high stakes, high pressure situation on that show. So you're not getting a complete look at the story. If that makes sense like have you ever had somebody over your neck telling you let's go we gotta hurry up we only got such and such and such and such time left that will mess up your makeup a little bit I love Plazzy We had to been known each other in another life or something, cause our chemistry is really good for no reason. Praying you'll post your looks every week since I won't see them. I won't. <laughs> I won't. You'll see them around. Like I'll wear them. Like I'm gonna wear them. Like I, I paid for them. Shit. Um. So I'm definitely gonna wear them. But am I gonna go out of my way and do a photo shoot for them? No. You want that lip sync? I think so too. It's a little awkward walking the runway that without music. Thoughts on the fan base? Um if you talk about the drag race fan base, everybody has their favorites and favorites for a reason. Um while it is not as heavy as in previous seasons i do i am experiencing the racism side of it and it is a lot it is a lot to deal with um not as heavy as some of the other girls had to deal with but it is a lot um and i think a lot of you all pick your favorites based on who you think you are if you did drag and a lot of these girls pick their favorites towards the end like they think they're playing jane or they think they're an if you win or they think they're um or they think they're like uh uh who else Safira. they think they're cute when really <laughs> when really bitch y'all not even y'all not even the poor child <laughs> I would love I would love some actual drag challenges on Drag Race. I would love having to do a full face in a um ungodly mirror in a small room over three of the queens. Now that's yeah. I mean they don't scare me. I went into this knowing how it works. I was on the show called Chasing LA and them um they were a little bit rabid too. Um so I went in like I went in with the mindset of Bernie Mac. I'm not scared of you motherfuckers. I'm not scared of you. Yeah, none of them scare me. Because the thing about it is, ain't none of them going to say whatever they feeling to my face. So we're good. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. Uh, me personally, if RuPaul does wear sweatpants behind that counter, I have not seen it. While we're uh, while we're there, RuPaul does not move from that that seat. RuPaul sits comfortably in that seat until we're gone. <laughs> You're robbed. I'm sorry. Thank you. My top four is wrong now. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you all don't forget about me as the season, you know, continues.
I love it. Oh, y'all are so nice. What else is going on? What else we talking about now? Y'all asking some of the same questions that we unanswered. You asked a lot of everything. Thank you. My, me and my wife thought you were a while. Like, thank you. I definitely got set. Listen, I definitely am a Sagittarius through and through, babe. Oh, I can't wait. I'm not staying out late. I stayed out late for all the other shows. I'm not staying out late for this one. Amen. I'm not. I cannot. There is a tub back there, and I ain't sat in a tub in so long. I am in Seattle. I'll be at Splash tonight. I ain't sat in a tub in so long. When I tell you I'm going to go in there, do this meet and greet, I'm going to perform down I'm going to have a shot or two with the people and then I'm going to say good night and come back here and sit in that tub. What's your, my favorite Hershey's chocolate? I'm the favorite. I won't be telling you that. I won't give an answer to that until they endorse me. I have earned a bottle of wine. It's been a long... Italy, yes. I have earned a bottle of wine. It has been like... It has been a long time. What challenge? I was excited for all the acting challenges. I'm telling y'all. If the first challenge was not a sewing challenge... Or a design challenge, whatever you want to call it... I would not have left. Did y'all not just see the video I just posted? How was getting eliminated? That is a dumb question, babe. How do you think it felt? How do you think it was? You tell me. Who do I think will win? I don't know. I wasn't. I I, I got to see the rest of the competition like y'all do. I wasn't there. I made uh her tape for her. Who am I rooting for? Um, everybody black and Nifia Wynn. Do I got something cooking in the books? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> How was my day today? It's been a it's been a very long week um to be completely honest with you um i had to film something else for the network that's gonna come out soon probably this week sometime um so i was in san francisco thursday um flew to los angeles last night and then flew to fresno last night after i did the thing in los angeles and then after i left there i came straight here uh so I'm very delirious, um, very tired. My body is that, have you ever been so sleepy that your body is warm? That's what I'm experiencing. Um, and I also like, while I like partying with the people, a learning curve for me is I have to learn to take it easy, especially since I'm going and partying every night. Um, so that's been a learning curve for me, learning to like, girl, every night can't be the turn up night. Like, you need to pick your nights wisely. So I think what I want to start doing, um, as far as the future is concerned, when it comes to me being out, is I think I'm going to take it easy the first couple of nights, right? But when I get to that last night before I have my break for the next couple of days, then I'll, like, turn up. But I was trying to do the same party with everybody. At San Jose, Sacramento, and San Francisco, they know how to drink, baby. They know how to drink.
What's your favorite thing to watch with your kids? I want dad content high key. Um, my kids love Power Rangers. Um, I kind of watch whatever it is they watch. Um, people are a little too weird for me. I won't be doing dad content. Um, like if I do it, I'll be talking about me. Um, like I'll give, I give people a glimpse of my children here and there, but I don't try to go out of my way to put them on the camera because people are too weird for me. Um, I don't, I'm like, I'm glad that people call my babies pretty and handsome and all that stuff. But to be completely honest with you, it makes me uncomfortable because you never know what bag people are coming out of. Um, so they're getting at the age where um, I just rather keep them, you know, out the camera. Like if they come in, I'm not going to hire them. Like if they, they know I'm on camera. So like I'm not going to walk up to them and be like, hey, film this, you know, film this with daddies. Film that. I'm not doing all of that. Um Just with everything that is going on with children, children are so unprotected. And I just want, like, one day they might not want they self on camera. So, like, glimpses here and there because, you know, they part of my life. But, like, I'm not going to, like, I wouldn't do fam. I wouldn't do a fam. That's, that's where I'm getting at. I wouldn't do a family content thing. Those are so weird to me. Those are so weird. Those, they, they are so weird to me. I don't understand that. Hi, we're the Ellis's. Uh, 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 uh. That's so weird. Judy and the brat are a little weird to me. This is no shade. Do I want to go there? I don't. Never mind. I'm not going to go there. I take it back. They're a lovely couple. Um, <laughs> I just think it's weird when black people go out of their way not to have black children. Now, next, what else are we talking about? Hershey, I first saw you on Chase in LA. You're a star for the fact. Thank you. Everybody's been absolutely nice to me. I just knew I was going to get ate up when this, uh, this episode came out. I just was waiting for people to like rip me a new asshole and everybody is not. And I appreciate that. Judy thinks her son has no choice but to be in the spotlight. That's a lie if I've ever heard one. If you don't want people to see your kids, they're not going to see your kids. Beyonce hid her motherfucking children. So, like, who are you? you? You ain't shit but Judy. And that's not saying you ain't shit as a person. Like, you Judy. Ain't nobody looking for Judy. You ain't in the... You barely in the spotlight. Like, girl, what? The challenge I was most, more, most worried about was the one I went home on. That challenge, everybody suddenly is a fashion expert when it comes to drag queens. I do not get it. I think I'm in Splash. I'm not queer. <gasps> I kept saying splash, didn't I? I kept saying splash. I'm so sorry. I'm at Queer Bar tonight. I kept saying splash. Splash is where I've been performing like this whole time. Like I'm at splash hopping. I'm at Queer Bar tonight. Queer Bar. That's to make sure my lines are even. I'm at Queer Bar tonight. Tonight I'm at Queer Bar. Sorry. You still ate. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to go on stage and sell pants that I didn't make, I think took a whole bunch of charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. I won't be told any different. The other girls and their hot glues and things can be mad. She paying that question. I'm not paying. I am paying that question. No, but I was about to lie. But no, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am. Um, I am paying that question. I asked. Her, so this is the last time I'm gonna answer it. She didn't say nothing. She said, "Welcome home." Um, who do I play as Mario Kart? Told you should not have gone home. I didn't think so either. 
the kids were at home. I love to open. I don't know, Toad reminds me of me, the leader of the girls. Everybody think Mario's in charge, but it's really Toad. Are you considering all stars? No, too early. Girl, fuck Yoshi, overrated. Uh overrated uh and frog you're a great dad and mom thank you you love me oh thank you so much that's so nice i'm an awful person you know what it is I, while i'm while i'm thinking about it because y'all was asking about the dad, or somebody asked about the dad content. You know what turned me off and made me stop putting my kids online? Or made me stop, like, intentionally adding them to my chats and stuff. Because I used to be excited about, like, throwing my kids in everybody's face. Somebody said, and it happened multiple times, and it took me, I am not a bar. And it took me a while to, like, catch on. It took me a while to catch on. Somebody said, um... Can we see your kids? And I'm like, huh? They said, let, let us see your kids. And it got, they kept, like, this was in multiple lives and multiple times they was asking a question to the point I was like, why are you asking to see my children? Like, why are you asking to see my children? Respucia. Oh, girl. <laughs> Look in the mirror. You do not want to go there. Listen, don't y'all come in here with that nonsense, all right? Don't y'all come in here with that nonsense. If you like that lady, y'all go ahead and like that lady. I ain't say nothing about her. I ain't say nothing about them. Y'all brought her up in here, uh, all right? Has the Chasen LA family been supportive? Andaria O, um, multiple people from the Chasen Atlanta and Chasen Dallas cast, um, and then my side of the couch, plus Andre and um, Fly King Eye um, from my cast. So pretty much, you know, a lot, a lot of yeah, Chasen, Chasen, the Chasen family in general for the most part have been very supportive. Um, yeah. I mean, Rich Bomb is like my real life friend, so like he always comes up to the stuff. Did you leave any wigs or outfits to the queen? No, so I gave like I gave Safira has one of my red wigs that I came to the show with, but other than that, no. I mean, it, they voted me off. Did nobody want no shit from me? No, I'm restarting my wig collection. Cause now I know, now that I know, I know exactly what I want my drag to look like now. Like I have it in my, um, the type of jewelry, the type of hair, um, the aesthetic. Um, so like I'm kind of, I'm in the process of starting my drag literally from scratch. So all my outfits, hair, makeup, all this stuff is being started from scratch. Um, I'm just going to take it one outfit at a time and go from there. Why well, hasn't torn? Uh, will you ever post your audition date? Probably not. Why well, hasn't cornbread? I'm not part of production, baby. So you would have to ask why presents uh, why she's not on Drag Race. That ain't, I don't know. You got to get back to me about the outfits and weed. Yes, I got three saved now that I want to start with. Um, but yeah, my looks, um, I feel like I'm heading more to a earthy Afrocentric type vibe. Think 
how do I describe this the best way? Think Erica Badu, Jill Scott. Think, but then toss in a little bit of Beyonce um, and then mix some Victoria Monet up in there. Who else? Who else can help? Let's think of Jill Scott, Victoria Monet, Beyonce, Erica Badu, just golds, warm colors, oranges, royal blues, um, black. Uh, um, hell yeah, I'm a Ty her name ain't Tyra Sanchez no more, but uh, yeah, Lettucey, that's a good one. Golds, royal blues, um, very. Um, South African and Nigerian in nature, um, big sleeves, uh, everything to be big sleeves. Fantasia, throw Fantasia in there, Bruno. Um, big sleeves. I want to give an air of royalty, black royalty to my drag, yeah. And my Nigerian, my 23, I, was it 23 of me that I took? My 23 of me said I had a good portion of Nigeria in here somewhere. But, you know, I'm African-American, baby. I would not say Jennifer Hudson, no. Jennifer Hudson doesn't have a style that's specific to me. My go-to drink is Fireball and Red Bull. Baby, I'm not trading. I'm gay as hell. But I thank you. Afrocentric is the word I'm looking for. Earthy, if I had to put a name to it, I would say, okay, 4.30. I would say earthy, Afrocentric. Earth tones. If you're a fan of Avatar, if you're a fan of the Avatar, the Earth Kingdom and the Fire Kingdom mixed. I don't know. Grounded down to Earth, but with money. It's expensive. Don't touch it very much. Don't touch. Don't even touch the fabric that's on me type of tease. Are you welcoming all opportunities now that you've been seeing? Not all opportunities. Um, it depends on what you mean by all opportunities. Because not all opportunities are good opportunities. Some opportunities are just opportunities. And I'm not welcoming to all. It has to make sense for me. It has to make sense to my drag. It has to make sense to who I am as a person. I think me and Amanda the Tori Media would do a good, uh, good little bop, actually. Because I thought her kitty song was so cute. I would do a remix to her kitty song. Are Earth Tones my favorite? They're becoming that, yes. Those really leafy greens. Um, definitely burnt orange. That burnt red. My religion, I'm not religious. More so on the spiritual side, personally. Are you excited for the live action Avatar? No, I'm not interested, to be honest with you. I haven't heard that song before. She thinks she's William or Willem? Who thinks they're Willem?
I wouldn't do All Stars anytime soon. No. <laughs> Y'all are silly. Listen, it's not rigory. It was actually quite up front. The girls voted me down there. The girl said her she was ugly. The girl said her she wasn't giving. They were pretty upfront, but I don't think it was rigged. They was pretty upfront with how they felt about him. How's your day even? That's cool. I'm trying to wake up. Is drag becoming toxic instead of a safe space? Um, I wouldn't say drag is becoming toxic. Um, or at least that's not something that I experienced. It's, it's nothing happening now that wasn't happening back in the day. What I will say, like many things that get to mainstream, because at one point, uh, at one point, drag wasn't mainstream, right? Um, so like many things they get to mainstream. What I will say, girl, is that there are too many spectators uh, thinking that they have valid opinions and they don't. Did you want to say you would win the lip sync after you were eliminated in the confessional? I don't know what you mean. I don't know nothing about Lizzo. The pants. Um, I did what I had to do. What are you wearing? Because that hat and that um, generic hoodie ain't given. I'm not hating this damn. Huh? You said the pants. Really? So you didn't like my pants. So now we got to call your fashion into question. You judging mine. Why can't I judge yours? What's the problem? You judging mine. Why can't I say nothing about yours? We talking about fashion. It's all love. <laughs> Proud of you. Thank you. No, to be fair with your question. I wasn't going out there in them socks. They said create a look. I created a look. At some point, sure. Um, I don't know when is Ross Matthews hilarious. He actually is very funny. Can you tell a story we didn't see on screen? Actually, I literally cannot. Them damn contracts, gal.